the former first lady, secretary of state, U.S. senator, Hillary Rodden Clinton said that anybody engaging in misinformation and disinformation should be arrested and locked up in jail. And then I wonder, should we start with you, Mrs. Clinton? <laughs> should we start with well, Hillary? And we still well, dossier Tyler? The, the, this is this is what I'm talking about here. You know, I, I love that you bring that point up because we can say that Republicans are playing games. When you look at it, Republicans did agree on a CR. Like we're going into this election without a government shutdown. So I think that is already a compromise that shows some seriousness of we're going to keep funding the government. And yet at the same time, you know, we see, and I'm thinking of Virginia 7th Congressional District, where Alexander Vindman's twin brother is on the ballot. And Alexander Vindman, who, remember, was Democrats' star witness in the first impeachment hearing against Trump, essentially blamed former President Trump for the second assassination attempt against him. And Hillary Clinton's remarks on disinformation here are following in this trend where those on the left, those who are in control of a lot of the institutions of our culture right now, you know, where, where you talk about wokeness, it's being thrust upon us from above. And that's one of the things that the American people are not happy with in the direction of our country right now. But <clears throat> this revolt, you know, when you talk, many on the left are acting as though Trump is responsible for the attack on him. When I think Americans can see through that, Americans know that the left has been pushing its agenda fiercely through everything. I mean, you look at the COVID pandemic, you look at the way that our education has been turned into a battle. Like I went to a public school or pretty close to a public school. I'm pro public school in general, but I had to decide. And I mean, I think many parents like me look at the way our public schools are right now and they're being indoctrinated against the beliefs that I see as American as apple pie. And when you see that, and you see inflation, you see rising prices, one of the reasons why I think Americans know they're not better off now than they were four years ago is because we're having this DEI agenda pushed, and then they're, they're acting as though, you know, companies are price gouging, when in reality, you know, government spending is driven up prices, that same government spending is funding woke institutions that are pushing the culture war that they like to blame on conservatives while conservative voices are being silenced as disinformation and misinformation. Okay. And I think Americans are tired of it. All right. Let me, let me, uh, you know, it's serious in the Middle East. 